Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we solve one VARC question. We learn one question at a time. The topic for today is paragraph summary. What do we do in paragraph summary questions? Very simply, we have a paragraph in front of us. We've got four options. We've got to pick the appropriate summary out of these four options, right? How you should approach these questions is simply pause the video here, solve the question before you proceed with this video. Solve the question first, then play the video again and view the solution that is how you should approach these videos right so let's get started with the solution for this question the first thing we do is we analyze this paragraph an unfortunate side effect of the moralization of global warming is the blame game a large number of people seem to think it makes sense to address the enormous problem of global warming so you're saying it's a major problem by putting various rich countries on trial for their crimes against the atmosphere over the past 200 years. So a lot of people say uh, to address the problem of global warming basically what you do is you blame the rich countries for the damage they've done. This project is a foolish one. The author does not regard this as the right approach. A backward looking sideshow that perhaps conveniently distracts political intention from the pragmatic policy debates we need for actually addressing the problem. So he's saying this is foolish because it distracts attention from the practical policy debates, the solutions that we need for solving this problem. But even if we, to, we were to take it seriously, even if we were to take these, this project, this blame game seriously, it wouldn't give the answers one might expect. So even if we took this seriously, it really would not give us the answers we think. It's not really going to help us resolve the problem. It's not really going to place the onus on the rich countries. That's what he wants to say. Now, keeping these points in mind, we analyze the answer options. The thing that you've got to keep in mind is the central idea of the paragraph should be contained in the answer option. The best answer option is one which is closest to the paragraph. Let's analyze them all. The problem of global warming needs to be solved on a proactive basis with the focus not only being placed on rich countries for the crimes they have committed over the past 200 years. Now, the problem with this option is it's not ruling out the rich countries. It's saying you need to solve it on a proactive basis, which is okay, which is right. We need to pay, pay attention to it with the focus not only being placed on rich countries. So you are saying you want to place focus on more things other than rich countries. The author says don't put focus on rich countries. The meaning is different here. It's saying not only being placed. The author is saying there is no point of placing focus on rich countries, right? Hence, option A is ruled out. Option number B, the problem of global warming cannot be swept under the carpet, that is you cannot ignore it and the approach of placing blame on rich countries for their crimes of the last 200 years is one that is not necessarily going to bear fruit. This seems to be a decent answer option, right? So we keep it in consideration. Option number C, the problem of global warming needs constructive debates. That means you need to have debates around this problem which focus on problem solving and simply placing blame on rich countries for their crimes of their past is not going to solve the issue at hand. Now, if you compare option B and C, right, the second part of the option for both options B and C is similar in nature. It says that placing blame is not going to solve the problem, which is what the author says. The second part of both these options is correct, in fact, right? Now, the difference is between the first part of the options. The first part of option B says, the problem of global warming cannot be swept under the carpet, which simply means it cannot be ignored. Option C says the problem of global warming needs constructive debates which focus on problem solving, which means you need, remember he says pragmatic policy debates, which in other words can be constructive debates, right? You need to solve the problem through solutions. So option B and C, option B stops at saying that you cannot ignore it. Option C says you've got to focus on problem solving. What does the author say? Which is closer to the author of the passage? Option number C is closer to the author of the passage. So that is why it's the better answer option, right? So we've analyzed B and C. Let's have a look at option number D as well and then finally lock in our answer. The problem of global warming needs urgent attention and policy level decisions and focusing on the past crime of rich, country, rich countries cannot really create the impact we desire. Now he has done one thing here in the last answer option. He has said, Focusing on the past crimes of the rich countries cannot really create the impact we desire. It's not saying that we should not focus on it. It says 
focusing on them really does not create the impact we desire this deviates from the sentiment of the author of the passage hence it's another option ruled out similar to option number a right in a way so out of b and c the two good options we pick c because it's closer to the sentiment of the author of the passage the author of the passage expresses this sentiment here pragmatic policy debates it finds a mention in option number c hence we pick option number c as the correct answer this is the kind of nuanced analysis you need to do of answer option options and if you can grasp the paragraph right if you can grasp the gist of the paragraph you will be able to easily identify the answer right so this way we've solved one problem hopefully you've learned how to approach this particular question type we'll keep solving these questions across different videos and we'll keep gaining practice for this particular question type right uh, we've got our courses for VA we've got the ultimate VARC course which covers each and every facet of verbal ability and reading comprehensions do check it out at learn.wordpundit.com these courses are going to immensely benefit you right uh, thank you very much for watching this video and happy learning